Dark Secrets About Devin Patrick Kelly Exposed The suspect behind the Sutherland Springs Church Massacre had a secret history that the mainstream media has never touched upon. One Kelly's mother-in-law was a parishioner attended the same church as the other victims in the deadly massacre and according to the latest details, not only was Kelly intent on killing everyone in the church, he also texted threatening messages to his mother-in-law, which implies that he was going to kill her as well. Although it is now known that Kelly expressed anger at his grandmother, authorities and the public, still don't know why, but fortunately, the unnamed woman was not there at the church in which the massacre took place. To the deranged gunman who killed 26 churchgoers and wounded 20 more at a church in rural East Texas Sunday was an atheist who ranted on Facebook about stupid religious people, according to a now-deleted Facebook account that appears to be Kelly's. Strangely, there was nothing specific about the rants that points to a larger picture of facts surrounding the case, was the rants directed towards Muslims, Christians, Catholics, Protestants, or just all religions in general. 3. Not only was he an atheist, he was also a big fan of guns, evidenced by a Facebook photo of an unknown assault rifle that has since been taken down, although it can be surmised that it was either an AK-47 or an MP4. Even more disturbing aside from his atheist beliefs and love of guns is an anti-fascist banner from the page that implies that he had ties to the radical group known as Antifa. However, in a strange twist, the doctored Facebook photo has been debunked by fact-checking media sites as a creation of a right-wing activists, which may suggest that Kelly had no ties to any radical right-wing groups. For Nina Rosaneva, a former classmate of Kelly, described him as weird, creepy, delusional, very aggressive and impulsive, often lashing out at not just her, but other students as well, whom also claimed that he used to rant on the social network about his atheist beliefs. He was also known to stare at several students for long periods at time, which made Nina and other students feel very uncomfortable. 5. Kelly would always post his atheist beliefs and deemed those that believe in God stupid Nina said. Another former classmate, Christopher Leo Longoria, removed him as a friend on Facebook for his aggressive and disruptive behavior. I stayed away from him for the same reasons, he creeps the hell out of me, said Christopher. 6. Another Facebook friend of the killer added, he was weird but never that damn weird, always posting his atheist shit like Nina wrote, but damn he always posted pics of him and his baby crazy. 7. Many of Kelly's acquaintances, some who wish to remain anonymous, never thought he would stoop to this level of evil. There were people I knew that stayed away from him for various reasons, which all make sense now, added one former acquaintance of Kelly. 8. Kelly was discharged from the military in 2012 for two counts of Article 128 of the Uniform Code of Military Justice, assault on his spouse and assault on their child, according to CNN. Although he received a bad conduct discharge, there's no exact record of the date this took place. 9. After his stint in the military, Kelly taught at a Bible summer school, but why would a self-proclaimed atheist teach at a religious institution? Most atheists don't teach at a religious Bible school, especially since it conflicts with their beliefs. The fact that this is being reported without logical thinking, is abysmal and lazy reporting, especially on the mainstream media's part. 10. He was married to Danielle Lee Shields, however, their marriage became tumultuous as Kelly would often physically beat and assault her, along with their child. Danielle described Kelly as a rage-filled monster with evil intent in his eyes. 11. The mainstream media never reported on Kelly's mental health, his parents said that he had a history of mental illness and was on various high doses of psych meds from 6th to 9th grade, the time I knew him said the student, who only wished to be identified as Reed. Curiously, they never specified the names of the drugs that Kelly was treated for his mental health problems. 12. Kelly was wielding an assault rifle when he went on a killing spree at the church, but despite the fact that the gun was an assault rifle, they never specified exactly what the manufacturer of said assault rifle was, why haven't the media clarified it in their reports? This doesn't make any sense because whenever there is a mass shooting, the perpetrator's weapon is always identified to the public, especially when Stephen Paddock's weapons of choice were an AK-47 assault rifle with night vision capabilities and devices that converted assault rifles to automatic weapons that fired like machine guns. 13. Police discovered multiple weapons in his car. 
But this raises another question, how did Kelly obtain those weapons despite the fact that the Gun Control Act of 1968 explicitly prohibits licensed sellers from selling firearms or ammunition to persons who have been discharged from the armed forces under dishonorable conditions? Even though it's been confirmed that he purchased them from a gun store, it's still in violation because of his discharge from the military. CNN claims that he may have obtained them fraudulently, but no one should take their bullshit statements at face value anyway. This simply doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Officers later confirmed that Kelly fatally shot himself, typical of mass murderers. This case raises lots of questions. One did Kelly plan the shooting in advance, or did he just randomly walked into a church, killing 26 people, wounded 20 more? Two did his mother-in-law notice his bizarre behavior? Three was the FBI monitoring Kelly's Facebook posts? Four how and when did Kelly obtain those weapons? Five was he religious or not? Six why didn't the mainstream media report that he was mentally ill and taking various antipsychotic drugs? 7. What was the true motive behind the Sutherland Springs Church Massacre? For more info, please click on the links in the description box. Put your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.